All right, we need to talk about some Chelsea news. Two players on the list, Ruben Loftus-Cheek and, yes, Mason Mount with Manchester United. Now let's first talk about Ruben Loftus-Cheek. He will be heading to AC Milan. He's no longer going to be a Blues. Fabrizio has announced that here we go. Going for $15 million, which, again, we've talked about this time and time again on this channel about Ruben Loftus-Cheek and how this player could have been so great, but that Achilles injury just ruined his potential at Chelsea. I do wish him the best. The guy was very versatile at Chelsea, put in a few good shifts, but again, never reached the height that we were hoping for. The guy has amazing skill sets, but still, again, this after the injury never got to where we wanted to. 15 million, yes, it's arguably a little bit lower than what we were probably hoping for, but still it's better than nothing. And therefore, again, we can utilize that to bring in more players because right now we are just chopping left and right this squad. We're going to be very down to the bare minimum bones, which again is totally fine because we really don't have that many competitions. We have the FA League and obviously the Premier League, and that is it. So probably Pochettino only needs about 20-ish players this season, give or take, minus that there are a few injuries, but still, we don't have to go crazy on buying a bunch of players. We just have to have a core solid team, which again, will allow us to compete for the Premier League. It's like the same thing when we won with Conte. We didn't have any other competition minus those three games or three league FA and the Premier League, and therefore, again, allow us to win the Premier with a very tight core set. I think Pochettino can do the same. The other news we need to talk about, though, is Mason Mount. Yes, it has been rejected again from United, but looks like Todd Bowley and Chelsea and Manchester United are going to thrash it out. That's what the quotes are going to be here with what we're seeing in the news right now. They're trying to figure out a deal in the next two days. It looks like we're trying to figure this out before the end of this month and therefore move forward with everything that we can for this club. Yes, they are looking to do about $70 million from Chelsea. Manchester United think 55 is probably the right price. Probably going to split the difference around 60 65 which again, I think is still a fair price for Mason Mount. It's a player that I really wish would have stayed at the club, even though he said he's willing to do the preseason, go through everything for this club. But as we all know, the way things have been going with this player, he's not going to be at Chelsea next season, which... At this point, I've accepted. Again, I'm very upset. I was hoping this player would have been a through-and-through -through blue player for his entire career, but you have to understand, players have to make decisions for themselves. They are their own business. Again, a club themselves is going to run their business, and the player has to run his own business. And we all know no player is bigger than the club. This goes through any team and any player. So therefore, again... Chelsea are looking to, again, capitalize on this player, has one year left. So, again, it makes sense to sell him for this price range right now because next season he most likely would walk for free. I highly doubt he would sign for Chelsea unless something crazy happened this season that he became this breakout player. Chelsea won the league and a few other things happened, but still the chances that are very, very slim. And, again, to get the price range for this player and, again, utilize that for Moise Casado or even any other player that we need in different positions makes the most sense for Chelsea. So, therefore, again, Cutting another player out of this squad, and therefore, again, Pochettino is going to have his picking and choosing of players he wants to bring in. It's just the capability of bringing those players and actually want to play for Chelsea. That is going to be the last hurdle for most of the players for the rest of this season. So, again, that is the big news from Chelsea, the two players. Yes, it seems like we're going to have more players still leaving. It looks like Pulisic is going to be on his way out to AC Milan, but that has not been confirmed yet. Once that is, we will talk about it, but still... We are losing players left and right, which was the game plan. This is going to be just one of the weirdest transfer windows for Chelsea, but it might be one of the best for us too because with us getting rid of all these players should get us going in the right direction for next season with Pochettino, Todd Bowley, and Chelsea, which again, hopefully we can get back to our winning ways. So that's all for you today in this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that, and I will see you in our next video.